Oh my goodness, we're gonna have so much fun today. Sitting in front of me are 25 products that I wanna to recommend to you from the Sephora VIB sale. I tried really hard to keep these only things that you could get at Sephora, and I want to do a speed review today. I'm gonna to give you just like maybe 15 seconds of my take on these products, and then you can decide whether or not there's something that might work for you. And keep in mind that I'm 55 years old, I have very dry skin, and also at the end of the video, I will show you my whole entire outfit, what I have on. And also we have a numbering system on my channel. And when I show a product, it will come up on the screen with a number. All you have to do is remember that number, go down into the description box. The link with the colors and everything will be there for you to shop that way if you'd like to. All right, now that's out of the way. Now we can start into the 25 products. Number one, I am in love with this concealer. I actually have three concealers in here. I wanted to put all of these because they've all come out this year. This is the Hourglass High Glam Concealer. This is a full coverage concealer. It only takes a little bit to put underneath your eyes and be able to see that beautiful coverage without having it look cakey. No creasing. If you set it down with a little bit of powder, you're going to find that with everything that I'm talking about because I do have pretty deep lines around my eyes. So I do set everything down with a little bit of powder, but all day wear on all of these that I'm going to talk about and look at the colors that Hourglass has on this. Phenomenal. I think they did a great job on this one. Also, the next one is from Tower 28. This is a serum concealer, which means that while you use it, you're also getting benefits for underneath your eyes. Now, I would recommend to you, and this goes for all concealers, go ahead and blend that out just a little bit, then go in and completely blend it out, and then let it sit for about two to three minutes, and then go in with your powder. Because if you go in with your powder immediately after you're done blending out, you're gonna have a cakey mess because the powder and the concealer is gonna melt together and it's gonna look like crap. So that is my tip for you today. But Tower 28 did a fantastic job. It is what I have on today and it does cover like a dream. And then the one from Makeup by Mario, I also feel like this was a hit out of the park. It is just a fantastic one. Now I will tell you that these colors run a little bit warm. Go for the neutral if you are warm and then go for the cool for everybody else. This is a beautiful concealer just like the other ones. I will say that I feel like maybe this one is just a little bit heavier than the Tower 28 and so is the Hourglass, but I also feel like that creaminess covers just so well. And again, you will have to set this, but you won't have any creasing. This is phenomenal. And I know I'm gonna have you all ask me which of these three you would prefer. They all have their different components. Which one do I reach for the most? I reach for the Tower 28 the most myself. By the way, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you here as a part of our YouTube family. So if you wouldn't mind just taking a minute and hitting the subscribe button, do the like button as well, and hit the little bell so you can be notified of any future videos I do have up. Many of you that visit me are not subscribed and I would love to have you here. I recently did discover the tubing mascara from Tower 28 on the recommendation of many of you and I was so glad that you did recommend it because it really is a beautiful mascara that gives you volume and length. Now I curl my lashes before I do them so I don't usually have a problem with holding a curl during the day. So if any of you gals know if this holds a really good curl through the day and you have very straight lashes, will you let everybody know that? But what what I love about it is at the end of the day, it's not flaked on me, but it's so easy to come off because it is that tubing mascara. Little bit of cleansing balm and it just comes off just so pretty. So that one is a definite recommend. This powder blush from Lawless, I fell in love with and I really, really like it a lot. I love the pigment on it. This particular one is a super high pigment and it also has this bright color to it. But I think for fall, it just works so well because it has that muted mauve rose color. But I really do enjoy how pigmented this is, how easy it is to blend out. This is a great blush to put on top of cream blushes if you're finding your cream blushes aren't staying as long as you would like. This one is called Indian Summer. So beautiful blush and just really high pigment and great on the cheeks. Next on the list is not a new product, but I wanted to put this in here because this is my all-time favorite high-end foundation. 
I will reach for all kinds of other foundations and yes, I love them and yes, they look beautiful, but I'm telling you this is my most effortless foundation. It is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Foundation. I have had this in my arsenal for years and years. The color is perfection for me. It just looks so good on my skin. This perfects my aging skin. The foundation itself is just beautiful. I would say this is a matte to natural finish on this one. This is not the radiant finish. Lately, I've been kind of shying away a little bit from radiant finishes, especially when I'm filming because it comes off as looking greasy, wears all day long. I can have this on for 10 to 12 hours, no problem. It doesn't break apart, but this one is the one that perfects my skin the most. And as you can tell, I'm a huge fan of it. The Natasha Denona Xenon Palette. I just got this yesterday and I'm already in love. You all know that I'm a very cool toned gal. I am with this hair color, what some would call a winter. That's that contrast between the dark hair and the very light skin. This is my dream palette as far as being winter. I love the way that my eye look turned out today. This is such a good palette as far as absolutely no cool in it. It does lend itself to being a little darker, but also it has enough light colors in there in the mattes that you could definitely pull off just a really, really light color. So I want you to know that the formulation is every bit as good as all of her other palettes. And take a look at all of those colors, just gorgeous. I think this is a palette that could really take over the internet because it does lean itself to that smoky look that we all loved in the 90s, but it's got a little bit of a modern look to it in that it's got a little bit of bluish grays in here. So this has turned out to be one that I am already in love with. The Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes Palette. I just recently did a video where I had this one on. This one has some amazing colors in it and an amazing formula. I had not tried any of his palettes before because I just felt like everything was too warm. Now with the hair color that I have, I can get away with that just a little bit, not all the way, but I can get away with it a little bit. And I really like that there are some very neutral browns in here and there are some great toppers in here. So if you're working with this palette, you can go ahead and just do a one and done shadow where you maybe put over your eyelid, this creamy color right here, and then maybe one of the toppers. There are some beautiful metallics in here. I really was enjoying this formula as I was working with it, and it did hold up to all the hype. I was really surprised. So yes, this one is viral, and I do feel like there's a reason for it. The colors are stunning in here, and I don't feel like it's just another neutral palette because of its formulation and how easy it is to work with. This is the blush that I'm wearing today and it's from LYS and I will make sure that I do link it. This is called Self Love. There's so much pigment in this and it's so, so good and you really need a very small amount. Now, what I wanted to recommend was the Trio gift set that Sephora has right now because that gift set ha gives you such pretty colors and I thought this covers everybody. You can mix these to where you can have your own custom color and what a pretty gift to be able to give somebody. So LYS blushes for their creams, they last a long time and they also have the pigment there. So I wanted to recommend that trio because I think it's a great value. The one size blush trio in Attention Seeker. This is such a great palette of blushes. You have your cream in here that is under the protection of the plastic little flap or little lid that goes down on there. And then you have this bubblegum pink that everybody went berserk over with the Dior blush. But I think this one is better because there's a lot more pigment in it. And then you have more of a lighter, almost a highlighter color. And it really is very icy, very pretty pink. Now they have tons of other colors in this trio formulation wear this highlighter color underneath the cream and you have a color that is just insanely gorgeous now house labs has their setting powder this powder really did surprise me on how much i ended up loving it and since i am sweating oh so bad right now i'm going to just touch up my t-zone a little bit right now now what i really like about it has the mesh on there and it also has like a stopper in the lid so you're not going to get all of the powder out at once but I'm just gonna touch up right here 
And what's beautiful about this powder is it is so light and airy. And it also doesn't make me look more cakey even though I might touch up during the day like I am right now. It really truly is very pretty and I do set my under eyes with it because of how light it is. I have taken to really enjoying loose powders lately just for buffing in and making all of your makeup come together. Also from House Labs, is the House Labs Tri-Clone Foundation. I'm gonna clean the lid right here because I get messy with my makeup. When this one came out, everybody went nuts so far. And there's a reason. It has that Tri-Clone technology in it, which means that it has a lot of silicones in it. And it says Tri, which means three, but I think it has more, a lot more silicones in it. So this is a great color for me even though I wish that I had been able to get a little bit cooler tone on it, it's still really a good color for me. Again, that color will be listed in the description box, but I have found that this one lasts all day. Now I do also find that you don't necessarily need to wear a primer with this. If you've been thinking about trying this one, I would give it a go because it really is very pretty. It does just make your skin look flawless like you just had an airbrush foundation put on your face. So this one, yay. Also, I have a few sets in here. This one is the Sephora Holiday Lip Kit. And this one has, I'm not gonna take all these out and show them to you, but I will put it up on the screen so you can see it. This one does have a full size of the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. You read it off the back while you're just looking at it. It also has a Pat McGrath Labs Mini Matte Trance Lipstick in Divine Rose. And then it has a Huda Beauty Mini Lip Contour 2.0 Automatic Lip Pencil in Warm Brown. Glossier Full Size Lip Gloss in Red Brilliant. And then it has Patrick Ta Full Size Major Volume Plumping Gloss. And then it has Rare Beauty Full Size Stay Vulnerable Glossy Lip Balm. And it also has a Tarte Maracuja Lip Plump in Cherry Blossom. And that one is a mini size. This is a beautiful way to try all of these. You're getting three full size products. Great gift for any of your beauty lovers. I think it's just one of those really, really good ones. LYS came out very recently with their Natural Finish setting spray i really love this it's a good one it reminds me so much of charlotte tilbury that it almost could be on par with the charlotte tilbury i find that when i put this one on when i spray this one on it has a really light mist i love that about it i did say in my last video or the video before that this was spitting at me it was a user error it was a little bit clogged and i needed to unclog the actual spritzer this is so pretty. It keeps your makeup set in place without it looking matte or drying it out during the day. You know, a lot of those other sprays, they are filled with alcohol. It's the ones that don't have alcohol in it that a mature woman wants to look for. This one is great for that. This one from Dior is their Luminizer Quad or their highlighter. I just take my brush. I mix it all in there. Look at that beautiful, beautiful, just gorgeous shimmer on there. Now, there are the metallics in here and then two of them do have a little bit of pinpoint glitter in them. I don't find that that bothers me. I think that this is just a gorgeous palette. This one was a limited edition back when I bought it three years ago, but they do have the universal one and it's absolutely gorgeous as well. It does have a little bit more warm tones in it. I don't have any highlighters that have any warmth in them because I always steered clear of that, but I'm thinking about grabbing that one because I love this formula so much and I think you will as well. When we're talking about illuminators, I got this one sent to me by Merit Beauty and this is a stick highlighter. It's actually called a uh, luminizing balm or an illuminating balm, I can't remember. This is in the color champagne. You can see that I don't have hardly any of it gone. I use this sucker all the time. You need so very little of it. It just looks like glass on your skin. It looks like just you have this gorgeous breakthrough, little bit of dew on your skin. It is so pretty and I'm really hoping that that comes across. There are two other colors that they have and I bet they expand this line because this is gorgeous. What I wanna say also is while it's out, I think that you probably should give this Hologram Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm a try. If you are a fan of the gloss balms 
and you are also a fan of us 80s girls and our lip glosses and the way we love to wear lip glosses you might want to give this one a try it is it's just got the reflex in it that i really love it's not glitter it's just this holographic shift between pink and purple and peach. It's going to be limited edition, but if you love Fenty Beauty gloss bombs, this is a really special color and I, I'm picking up another one because I don't want to run out of this anytime soon. This next one is a product that I do not hear anybody talk about and it is Kulfi, K-U-L-F-I eyeliner. And this is the one that I have in my waterline today. The eyeliner itself is an automatic eyeliner. It doesn't have the little thing on the other end, the little smudger on the other end. This has the most easy to glide color that you've ever seen. It's waterproof. I've had this on for about three hours now in my waterline and it's there. I mean, it's not wearing off. It's not going anywhere. But look at the gel formula and how that glides and the pigment that that did when I just put it on. You, if you have been searching, searching for some sort of really true waterline stay there eyeliner, this will be it for you. I swear by these. I have all of the colors. There are some pretty colors too. I think this is the, I think this is called something ocean or something water. Rain, rain check. There it is. I knew I would figure it out eventually because I wasn't going to be able to see it on there. So yes, this is absolutely beautiful and I think that you will love it. This is the time when I love to splurge on fragrance, but sometimes don't you feel like you don't know what to get I have been a really big fan of KLE for a long time. I think that these fragrances are so well done. They are very feminine. Some of them are very fruity. Some of them are very warm, vanilla-y. Some of them are very musk. Some of them I really love and some of them I don't, but I loved that she came out with this little sampler. So you can try these one a day or, you know, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and you're gonna have the other one on. That's the other thing about these fragrances. They last all day. When you go to bed, if you've put any in your hair, if you put any behind your ears, you're going to smell that or your mate is going to smell that. And my husband loves these. He absolutely loves these. And this is a great way for you to choose which one of these you would like to get. But my favorite one in here is the KLE Eden Juicy Apple. I adore this fragrance. First of all, it smells like the best apple ever, but it also smells like a feminine, beautiful breath of fresh air. It just, I, I can't even explain those fragrances. They are so different. She has put so much work. It's her sister, by the way. It's not Huda Beauty. It's her sister that, that really develops this line. She has put so much work into these, and these... I have not had any on that I did that I felt like turned weird on me and my chemistry, but I have had some on that I just didn't care for. But these fruit ones that they have out, like they have the cherry, the pistachio, they have this one. I adore all of them. But the apple is my absolute favorite. This is the longest lasting perfume I have, period. My husband was like gaga for it. Juliet Has a Gun is a line of all different kinds of fragrances and i got one of those little fragrance samplers and then this is the one that i chose out of it for the travel size and this one is vanilla vibes i think this is so good too i actually wore this one today and it smells just like it smells a lot like the beach a lot like baking cookies but it also has again that perfume feminine fragrance in it this one lasts a long time too it lasts almost as long as the KLE does, but I really love this vanilla one. Last fragrance thing, and I'm gonna put these two together. This is the Sol de Janeiro, and I'm gonna say this wrong, Beja Flor Elasti Cream. That's what this one is, and I love these creams. They're thick and yet not heavy, and they're very hydrating without being heavy. And if you layer these two together, so you put this, you know, maybe on your pressure points, the cream, excuse me, on your pressure points, and then you put the spray on top of it, you're going to have it last there all day long. I also put this in my hair. I love it in my hair. I mist it all over my body when I get out of the shower. These are amazing. This is again one of those fragrances 
that reminded me of the beach but it also reminded me of a lot of fruit. I'm a, I'm, can you tell I'm kind of a fruit gal when it comes, I'm a fruity person. Can you tell I'm a fruit gal? It is very florally. I'm gonna smell like a, you know, Texas, you know what. Oh, this is just a beautiful fragrance. And this is a beautiful cream. Both of these I love so much. And when they're on sale like this, I stock up because they are that good. So this is the Danessa Myricks eyeshadow and she came out with a nude line and check out all these colors. There's a ton of colors here in the nude line. I wanted to find an alternative for an eyeshadow primer. I love my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer. I will forever go back and forth between these, but I wanted an actual eyeshadow because those things are budge proof from Danessa Myricks. I had one of her other little tubes before and I absolutely loved the, the whole concept of how creamy and beautiful and how it set down and I had it on when I went to bed. Well, I took it off right before I went to bed, but I had it on all day long when I wore it. And that's how this is. And it seems to be able to keep my eyeshadow very vibrant all day long as well. I've been using it for a couple weeks now underneath my eyeshadow looks. My eyeshadows stay on, they do not fade at all, and there is absolutely no creasing whatsoever. My eyelids sweat. Do you guys eyelids sweat? My eyelids and underneath my eyes, they sweat. I don't know why, but they do. The next one I have is from Lawless. I'm not gonna open this because I wanna give this away. This is the Lawless Trio Dreamy Darlings, and this is the Forget the Filler. I am in love with Patrick Ta and Lawless's formula. I love them both. They both are really, really good. Patrick Ta's feels a little bit more like almost pillowy, whereas the Forget the Filler from Lawless it feels like it's really truly plumping and it just gives that really juicy look to your lips and I really love this. So this is a great way also for you to try it but also to give it as a gift. I believe that this is not, oh it, it says it's the mini. Okay, I don't know why it would be a mini because I feel like these are full size. Again, I don't wanna take this out because I would really like to be able to give this to someone. From Say, this is the Mini Dew Blush Trio. Beautiful pigment on these. I have worked with this formula many times. I have a couple of these myself. Great formula. The liquid just glides and blends just beautifully because it's the liquid. It almost acts like a liquid lipstick does, but it doesn't dry out like a liquid lipstick does. By the way, you can use this on your lips as well if you want to for a color. So you can match your blush to your lip color if you want to. That's a beautiful look. And this color right here, I did read that this bubblegum pink color, and I don't know what the name of it is because again, I don't have my glasses on, but this is a limited edition. All right, that's it for the makeup. Let's check out what I have on now. All right, girlfriends, here's the outfit of the day. I have on this beautiful blue sweater, which I'm in love with, ribbed, has a V-neck, and it also has some great gold accents with the buttons. And you can either push it up or leave it down, whichever you want. It is, I would say, medium weight sweater. It does come down over the booty, so you can wear it a little bit lower. Also, my stretchy pants in black. Last time I brought them to you in blue. This time they are in black and they stretch. I actually can size down in these and they work just fine. The boots, the boots are my favorite part of this outfit today. These are a knee-high boot, slouchy. They have the buckle accents on them. They're black suede. I absolutely love them. Then to pull the whole thing together, I have this adorable bucket bag. This is so cute. It has the drawstring, well, fringe first. The last purse I showed you had fringe on it. This part that has the tassels on it, that will draw up and close it up for you. It just has the one main pocket, but it does have the regular zipper pocket in the back, and then the two in the front for your glasses or your, eye, your phone or whatever you wanna put in here. And dang, I am in love with this purse. I hope that you like the outfit today. Let's take a look at the jewelry. Okay, so I just stayed right here on this side of the room while we're doing the jewelry. The jewelry is a chunky gold chain that I've had for a while. I love to wear chunky jewelry. It's just my thing. These are really cute too. They are like, I would say maybe a one and a quarter inch hoop super light they look like they'd be really heavy but they're not i can't wear heavy earrings you know it pulls my lobe down seen too many older women with that and 
I just don't do that, but these are really light. So that is all the jewelry that I'm wearing today and that's the outfit. All right, that's the end of the video. I hope that you did enjoy seeing my Sephora recommendations for the VIB sale. And if you have any questions about any of these, let me know. Also, I know that you have recommendations for me. What are you picking up during the sale? I would love to know that as well. Take care of yourselves. I love you so much. And we'll be back together very soon in my next video. Goodbye, my friends.